Hi everyone! Welcome to Cobalt Crochet Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make these beautiful sand dollar coasters. I'm using a 6mm crochet hook, which is um, the J size, and I'm using category 4 worsted weight yarn. You will need to already know how to make a slip knot, how to make the chain stitch, how to double crochet, how to front post double crochet, and how to single crochet. If you don't know how to make any of those, head on over to my channel, Cobalt Crochet Tutorials, and I have tutorials on how to make all of those. Okay, let's get started. First, make a slip knot, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now on the first chain, you are going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain stitch, and now pull the first loop on your hook through the second, which is a slip stitch. Okay, now we are going to start our first round of this coaster. So we're going to be working stitches into this loop right here, in this hole in the center, around um, until we reach back to where we started. So we're going to start our round by chaining two. And now we are going to work one double crochet into this middle of the ring. Now chain two and work two double crochet into this same ring. Chain two again, and work two more double crochet stitches into this ring. And we are going to do this a couple more times. We're going to chain two again, work two more double crochet stitches into the ring, and last time, chain two, two double crochet into the ring. So you should have a total of five clusters of two double crochets the chain two counting as a double crochet. Now to end our round, we're going to chain two to bridge the gap from this cluster to the first one. And we're going to find that chain two we made to start our round, insert our hook in the top of those chains, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull this first loop through the second loop. Now we've closed off our round. So we're gonna start our next round by chaining two. Now you are going to work one front post double crochet into this double crochet right here. So we aren't going to work into the, these chains, we are going to work into this first real double crochet stitch. Okay, so yarn over and work your front post double crochet by going behind the post of your double crochet. Now we are going to work two double crochet stitches into this chain two space right behind um, this front post double crochet we made. So we're going to work two double crochet stitches right into this chain two space from the first round. So two double crochet stitches into there. Now in this next double crochet stitch we are going to work one double crochet and in the next double crochet we're going to do a front post double crochet. These front post double crochets will create this ridged, ridged look throughout this pattern. Um, I saw that these front post double crochets made a great ridged look um, based on sand dollar designs I'd seen online, and they're going to really create that nice, nice sand dollar effect. Okay, so let's keep going. I've just made my front post double crochet. Um, now we're at this chain two space again, right behind slash after this front post double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet stitches in there. And 
Now in this next double crochet, we're going to work one double crochet stitch. All right, now we are going to do a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're at our chain two space again that's kind of hiding behind um, this front post double crochet. So we're going to work two double crochet stitches into there. We're going to keep repeating what we've been doing all the way around this round. Now I'm at the first double crochet in the cluster, so one double crochet stitch in there. Now one front post double crochet, two double crochet in the chain two space, one double crochet in the next double crochet, one front post double crochet in the next stitch, And now we are at this chain two space, so two double crochet into there. And now we are going to slip stitch to this chain two. Um, we are going to insert our hook into the top chain um, of those two chains that started the round. Yarn over, pull through that chain right there, and then pull this first loop through the second loop. So now we have finished um, another round, and this will um, appear to be kind of curling inwards, so don't worry about that. It's going to flatten out really nicely um, in the next rounds we do, but at this point it is very normal for it to look like the beginnings of a little bowl or basket. So don't worry if it's curling in. Okay, now we're going to start our next round. Chain 2 to start. And we are going to work into this chain space right here that we closed our round in. So not working into this front post double crochet, we're going to work in the top of this little tower of chain twos. So yarn over to start your double crochet. And let me bring this a little closer. I am going to work in the top um, chain of the stack of chains. So one double crochet right into there. Now we are at this front post double crochet, so I am going to work one front post double crochet um, around that stitch. Now on this stitch that's hiding right after this front post double crochet, um, I am going to work two double crochet stitches into there. In this next double crochet, I'm going to work one double crochet. In the next one, I'm going to work two double crochet stitches. So there's one, and then I'm going to work one more double crochet into the top of that same stitch. Now I'm at my front post double crochet section, so continue that ridge look by, make your front, by making a front post double crochet in there. And then in our next stitch that's hiding right after this front post double crochet strip, we're going to work two double crochet stitches um, into the top of that stitch. So there's one, and there's two. Now we're going to keep continuing what we've been doing this round. So one double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next, there's one, there's two. Now we are at our front post double crochet, so one front post double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to keep continuing that all the way around. So in the stitch that's hiding right after the front post double crochet, work two double crochets, then one double crochet, then two double crochets, then your front post double crochet. Alright, so I will see you at the end of this round, um, right before we join it. Alright, so now I am ready to join my round. So I'm going to do that by inserting my hook in the top chain of this little stack of um, chains right here. And I should have ended my round with one double crochet in the last double crochet stitch. Okay, so like I said, insert your hook in that top chain right there. Yarn over, pull through that 
chain and pull this first loop through the second loop. Okay, now we are going to do one more round and then we are done. So start your last round by chaining one and work a single crochet into this chain right here that we joined our round in. So into that big loop right there, one single crochet. Now on this next double crochet, we're going to work two single crochets. There's one, and there's two. Now we're at our front post double crochets, we're going to work one single crochet in the top of there. And then we are going to insert our hook behind the post of this front post double crochet, yarn over, pull through the back, yarn over, pull through two. So kind of working a single crochet version of the front post double crochet in there. Now on this stitch that's right after um, these front post stitches, we are going to work two single crochet stitches. And then two single crochet stitches in each double crochet stitch until the front post double crochet. So two in there, one and two, one and two, first one, second one. Okay, now I'm at my front post double crochet stitch, so I'm going to kind of work a front post single crochet. Um, I'm going to put my hook in the back of that post, yarn over, pull through the back, yarn over, and pull through two. Now find that stitch that's hiding behind that front post double crochet and work two single crochet stitches right into there. So two single crochets and the stitch right after the front post double crochet. Now we're going to keep continuing like this all the way around. So you're going to keep working two double crochet stitches in each regular double crochet. Then when you get to the front post double crochet, you're going to work one single crochet in the top and then work one front post single crochet by working behind the post, yarning over, pulling through the back, and then pulling through two. So I will see you at the end of this round. Hello again, now I've reached the end of my round. Um, I've worked two single crochet in this last double crochet stitch. So I'm going to find the first single crochet of the round. So I'll bring this a little closer. Um, this first single crochet is going to be right here. So you're going to work not into the chain because it's a little hard to work into since it's just one of them. But we're going to find that first single crochet, go into the top of there, yarn over, pull through the top of that stitch, and pull this first loop through the second. And now you can just tie off your work and you're all done with this sand dollar coaster. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cobalt Crochet Tutorials. Have a great day.